in the process that I think for too long they've been held at arm's length. Um, and maybe we'll talk about a little later um, the idea of what young people, that they're held at arm's length, the parents are held at arm's length, and the parents hold them at arm's length. Uh, so you got a lot of young people that are disenfranchised and not real interested or connected to the ways in which they can improve their communities. And we hope that sometime in the future our application can help make that a little easier. Uh, the next, so um, cities, that's a familiar one, um, come in all shapes and sizes. Um, from cities to towns to villages to hamlets, um, all the way down to the neighborhood scale. Um, people are walking around um, thinking about ways in which they can improve their neighborhood. I'm sure that you all have thoughts on how you improve the place where you live. Um, again, you don't have a fancy degree or you know, Google some money in your pockets to, or maybe you do. If you do, I'd like to talk to you. Um, <laughs> to go out and actually make that change happen tomorrow. Uh, but it doesn't mean that your voice isn't, isn't valuable and shouldn't be heard. Uh, if you go to the next one. <coughs> But if you have an idea, um, it's just, you're typically told to go here. And it just looks like a really happy spot. <laughs> <laughs> not, not necessarily as well attended as tonight's um, event. Um, but if you click on more. Um, these, these community meetings um, are too time consuming, too intimidating, and just far too much productive. And I've been on the other side of it uh, as a practitioner. And I've been the one that sits at the podium and looks down on the audience with the microphone and says, this is how it should be, or this is how it could be. And I'm going to give you some time. You're all going to march up to the microphone. And then you're going to tell me a little bit about what you think. And then one of my staffers that I brought along is going to write down curiously some, some notes about what you say. And then to roll the dice if the river makes it in. Um, and it's really, in too many, sadly, in too many cases, it's a um, to-do item on a checklist. It's on a checklist. That a consultant has to come in and tell you what you may or may not want to hear. And then they're away, and then they go back to their studio in the ivory tower, and they go out and <laughs> try to do something to go in, but all too often, a lot of us get a little bit pissed off with the results. Uh, if you go click one, one. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're doing your demo day, you got to come up with some numbers, whether they're real or they exist or not. Um, so we, we came up with, and I'd love to show you the spreadsheet. We, we spent a lot of time on this, so this isn't total BS. Um, across this country, in the realm of 714,000 community meetings are happening. Uh, there's one more. Um, $12,000 per meeting. Now, that's, whoa, that's $12,000 per meeting. Well, that's, that's everything from consulting fees for those that are coming in the room and charging <laughs> hourly, to the staffers that are there sitting in the room, um, to the, the, you know, the coffee and donuts at the front door. Um, but you have to consider, too, that um, prep for that meeting, as well as the prep after the meeting, um, you've got about two weeks of concentrating on about an hour and a half worth of interactions with the general public. And that's, yeah, that's silly business. And then if you do the math, it's eight billion dollars per year, um, which you know plus or minus. But that's a, that's a big chunk of money. And when I look around the streets of my neighborhood, maybe yours, and I certainly know of others, um, that amount of investment and that supposed amount of strategy is not not doing much good. Um, so you go to the next one. Next. Um, and, and this this all of this. Um, comes to create an environment where you as community members are informed, you're frustrated, disinterested, elected leaders are ambitious, fearful, defensive, and whatnot. And developers who actually put stack bricks on top of bricks so that they pay somebody to do that, um, are uninspired and cooperative and resistant. Um, and this just cycles <coughs> around. It's, it's not a good thing. Um, next. 